Inside the camp of Team Fury, with me I've got Tyson Fury. The Gypsy Warrior. The Gypsy Warrior. Uh, first of all, I don't think I'm going to put that video out. Which one? I've all sparring. I don't think that's going to make me look I don't good. think it'd be a good idea, um, Kurgan, to be honest. No? Not a good idea. I'll have a little think about it, but... See, when, I, when you come at me and you hit me for the first time, I thought you was really going for it. Then I watched it back and realised you just jabbed me. Yeah. And I had a head guard on, but it felt like I'd actually probably punched. <laughs> but anyway, um, so this is where you've situated yourself. Yeah, we're situated in a, in a field in the middle of nowhere, as you can see. Um, gypsy style, you know, working it out for the heavyweight championship of the world. Why we're here? Don't know. You better ask the trainer. Because you could have put yourself in some sort of hotel environment or yeah tour. we had he had an offer to go over to ireland for a five star uh, spa resort for the full camp uh 250 grand's worth of sponsorship and uh we decided not to uh, do it because we was going to stay here in trailers instead like proper jippos so i'll give you a little tour of the caravan shall yes I? we saw this on periscope but people who haven't got periscope let's have a look let's have a look well this is where we store the wood where we light fires we like fires and cook head jogs and rabbits and, and hares and stuff. Punch. Bit of punch, shit. Yeah. All that sort of stuff goes on over there. See over there where them uh, bricks are? That's where we have the fire. Okay. Little sing song around there? Yep, little sing song. A few, uh, maybe a bit of bare, bare knuckle stuff goes on on this grass and all. Here we have Huey's little... Uh, yeah, why has Huey got this one? Because he is a true original Snatch character. Huey should have been in Snatch. <laughs> Definitely. So we'll have a little look at it from the side view. As you can see, it's the top of the range. It has the blue speed stripe down the side. It has the uh, the extra grip handles for, for holding the horses on the side. Yes, it's got the opening windows here. Plastic, as you can see. It's even got the reflectors. There we go. So it can't get lost in the dark. So I don't know what he's moaning about. It's got all the mod cons. It's got all the mod cons. Look here. It's got alloy wheel trims. It's got wires through the windows. These are electric cable live, by the way. Okay. Air conditioning units here. Uh, Is he in? We'll have a look. He might be asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you. <Yui. laughs> We're doing a little cribs. I know he's done it on Periscope the this other day. Snatch trailer. I've got all the goods in here, mate. Go and have a look inside. Well, let's have a look inside. Because you've, you've There's got. There's me piss pot. You've got the short straw in it. There's no lights in here. No, no lights. You ain't got a light in here. No lights. Listen, Papa, I'm no. the presenter on this TV show. Go on, you carry so on. Here we are. So this is where he's got his. I told you he had mod cons. It's even got a microwave there. Look, it's fucking dirty inside, as you can see. Some rotten bananas. This is where he pisses during the night. <laughs> <laughs> As like, oh, you sick bastard. <laughs> he has a little shit on here, look in there. Fucking hell, there's a shit on How did you get in there? He gets in there and look, he's even got the mod con toilet seat. Do you leave the door open? No, he, of course, you've got, you've got to leave the door shut because then the stink of shit will go on your uh, food. There's his number plate there, look. Let me get a bit of Number plate, there, there's his number plate. Um, that's about it really. Well, well, the piss out of your face, please. No, we're not taking the piss out of it. We've, like we've it. seen There's it. Bed. We I'm saw insulted. it on Periscope. Insulted. Is That's there someone good. in that bed? Yeah. Just a couple of brasses. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, thanks, Huey. No problem. We'll let you get back to bed. Thanks very much. Jesus. Well, go and say Pete's in his. Come on, Let's follow go. me. This way. Here we have, this is a top of the range one, it even has the handle, the moving handles for lock, unlock, turn, the king sign on there. Go on, get in. He's asleep. I'm not asleep, I can hear you through Uh, yeah. Well this one, this one's better, we was in it earlier, this one's better. Nice and warm as you can feel, the warmth as soon as you come in. Toaster. Uh, toaster, kettle, kettle, whatever you want basically it has all the mod cons that uh, any uh, normal person's home would have gas cooker oven 
heater, um, Wilton carpet down there, everything bed down there, bed here, bed up here. What up here? You like Cougar, You can't see you because it's, it's pitch black, but... Oh yeah, I'm, I'm here. You're here, you're there. And you're still here? I'm still here, yeah. I've been here all day. <laughs> So that's what, what, feet, you could live in a trailer. Yeah. I, I have stayed in a trailer before. Have you? No, I have. A hobby. Um, let me ask you a question, Sit right? Sit down, have a fucking seat. What, what, do you, what do you think if Vladimir was to be in these surroundings, would he survive? Be able to live like this? I think he would, considering I watched his documentary and six or seven uh, people of his family lived in one tiny room over in the uh, war zone where he was. <laughs> Where, where's all that chemical plant? Chernobyl, is it? And in Austria, he lives in a log cabin, which is similar to these. Yeah, so, you know, Vlad's used to the uh, the luxuries and the not-so-luxuries. So you've probably got more in common than probably. what he thinks. You know, it's, uh, it's one of the things. That, on the documentary, they said they all lived in one room and they had one toilet to share between ten people and all that, so he hasn't always had it easy, Vlad. He's, he knows what the hard life's about. And I think he'd be more than comfortable in one of these trailers. Hmm. Be good to get Vlad in a, a day in the life of, you know, a, a traveller. See well, if he fitted in. Why don't we ask Vlad to come <laughs> on the press conference we'll bring him back here? <laughs> you should ask him that. Well, I will then, considering. You, sh you should ask him that, whether he's willing to come here for a day and, you know, get the world's media here and see if he can survive here. I don't think it's much of survival there. It's not like a Bear Grylls survival, is it? He's on about bare knuckle fights a minute ago. Yeah, well, that's what we do out there on the, around the fire while cooking. Rab while the rabbit's cooking on the spit, we just uh, warm up with bare knuckle boxing, <laughs> don't we, around the fire for a bit. Um, I think we're re relaxed today. You've uh, obviously done two parts of your training for the day and now you've got yeah. sparring later on, but yeah. seem quite relaxed today. I am, you know, I'm... Just under six weeks until the fight. I'm feeling relaxed. There's no pressure, is there? No pressure on me at all. Um, I'll do what I can do. No pressure whatsoever. What are they? They're, They're nuts. Testicles. I'm offering you one. <laughs> do you want one? Have you picked them yourself? No. All right. <laughs> oh, it sticks me up. So. Oh. Pitch me out. Um, he didn't. He said, "I said to you, why are you spending your camp here rather than like a big resort or something or a hotel or something?" Yeah. He said, "Ask the trainer." Well, we had a two hundred and sixty thousand uh, pound sponsor that, yeah. in Ireland, and uh, there's no I'll difference. Look, they're actually nice. Yeah, I'll have another one as well. They like tasting them, aren't yeah. they? <laughs> they're. Yeah. Um, I was expecting it to be a bit stale, but I saw he's got the plastic thing on top of it. Yeah. Nice and fresh. Take a few. <laughs> Actually, could you wrap a couple of these up for my journey home? <laughs> Take a few, stick them in your pocket. No, all right, all right. I'm all right. Yeah, um, so we was going to Ireland, but look, it's an hotel room. The best of facilities here. Got the best of food being delivered to the door, everything. So it's easier, it's better, and like I said, the training from Monday to Saturday morning. You know, it's nice to go home and just have a little bit of a rest. It helps them along a little bit. It's not the mundane thing. Back to it. You know, that's it. Yeah. That's why we stayed here. And obviously you'll situate yourself here for the for the rest of the camp. You ain't yeah. going nowhere. we nowhere until we leave for the uh, German trip. Okay, okay. The cans was off the menu because usually you, you do a camp out. Six weeks yeah, we had six weeks out there already. It was too hot. 32, 3 degrees at night. I quite like it here. Good. I'm spending a week here. I want to pull my trailer there. Have you got one? I told you I've got a hobby. Oh, you've got a hobby? I've got one, yeah. Good man. Yeah, deluxe. <laughs> Has he got the speed stripe down the side? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> The speed stripe, Peter, you know the speed stripe makes you go faster when you're towing. Gives you the five mile an hour extra speed zone, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, 
So yeah, as you can see, I'm pretty relaxed in here. On a serious note now though, I, I just bought that trailer over there, yeah, for this camp. And I'm really considering having Christmas in it. Really? Pulling it in my um, house yard and having Christmas in the trailer. Because I actually prefer Christmas in a closed environment for some reason. Imagine this all now, like, heating on, Christmas tree over there, telly, like, going. Yeah. Kids running wild in here. Sandwiches getting made. Cups of tea, mince pies. Why don't you put it to Paris, see what she thinks? Because. Just moved into a new house. Just got all settled in. So, I don't think she's going to fancy moving out again. Tell you what it is, though, Coogan, yeah? You know what I like about a caravan, yeah? The rain on the roof. What, li listening to the rain yeah, on the you roof? you don't hear it in the house. I'll tell you what. You sleep like a baby on it. So that's a good thing. So that's what I like about a caravan. The rest of it, you can keep it. But well, your one's all right. Like... I suppose your one's all right as well, isn't it? Is your one similar yeah. to this? Something similar, but just a different uh, brand. Listen, on a, on a serious base, I lived three years in a trailer when I got married. Every day, not like for training camp. Proper living. And it wasn't bad. You just got to be organised. Nothing bad about it. I actually had a better, um, better time living in the trailer than I do now, living in a house. But um, it was good, good times. The only shit thing about trailers is you have to go outside for a piss in the um, in the cold. Well, these have got toilets, haven't they? Yeah, but travellers don't use a toilet in a trailer. No? No. Why not? It's against the law. <laughs> no, You're not going to have a shit in there, are you, and then cook your food on there, like one step away from the kitchen? Oh, you are just, <laughs> <having, laughs> just talking about having a piss, though. Right? Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to say it, but you forced me to say it. <laughs> okay. All I right. said it, Anna. Imagine having a big turd in that toilet there, in that door, and then Peter's having his sandwich and a cup of tea there, ripping me guts out far too much down in the toilet. <laughs> All yeah, right, I'll it's, see it's that. It's a no-go area. I'll say yeah. that. So what's the point of... Imagine having a smell in here with the eat on All right, what's the point of having a toilet in here, then? You've got a big or What's the point of him having a toilet in there then? There's no point, but normal people, civilian, normal British people or whoever, they use a toilet in the trailer. Or there's no point really because if you got if you got a trailer, you're not going to just pull on the side of the road, are you? You're going to go to a holiday park. Sure. So they've all got facilities like hot showers, toilets, whatever you need. It's already there. You don't really need anything because you can do all your washing up on site because the sites have all the washing up facilities, washing machines, dryers, everything. So if you've got a trailer and you're going to go somewhere in it, there's always facilities there. What do you think of Yui Snatch, caravan? Uh, yeah, I think he got the short straw, but he seems quite happy in there. On his he, had own. A, he had a nice one before, yeah. And he uh, got rid of it, sold it. Really? Some man come down, bidding 50 quid profit. Had to go, didn't it? Really? Smacked his hand and took it off. Is that a true story? True story. Travelling fellow was driving past here one day. Saw the trailers in the yard. Wait till the gate opened. Pulled in. Saw you his trailer. I said, I'll buy that off you. He said, how much? He said, I want uh, ten and a half for it. Come. He's got Walked the... it up and drove away. No, he's got the deep, he, 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 took that, he took that in swap. Well, he seems quite happy in there. He's happy. Yeah. Like Peter said, it's just somewhere to get your head down, isn't it? That's it. It's not you're not living a life of luxury on a training camp, are you? It's just somewhere to go and sleep and wake up, come down, get your head down and what I've not even got a telly in now, nothing. I've got nothing. You've got a telly in there? No. No. We're not not set up for um for luxuries and pleasure. We're just set up for training, that's it. That's the telly's in the the room over there if you want to watch it. Oh no, I was in there really well. It's got a pool table, yeah. It's quite a good setup in there. Yeah, it is, yeah. It's, uh, it's the owner's uh, lad's room. He's got a bar in it. It's got a bar in it, pool table, Wi Fi, everything's, everything. in, everything's in there. We must be very unusual characters because we've had one game of pool in the past six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. We've not, we really? not even used it. When, when I first got here, I was watching Sons of Anarchy on um, Netflix and I got to the like, third or fourth um, series. Season, but I've not not been going back in there watching it for some reason. Instead of uh, getting rest, I was watching that, and I just felt tired all the time. So now I'm trying to get a, a quick hour and twenty minutes in before I train. Do you 
you know when you're here, obviously during the week, I'm assuming you go home at weekends? Yeah. Uh, what do you do when you're not training then? What, here? Here. Well, you've got three sessions a day, so there's not never a lot of time when you're not training, really. The only time you're not training is when you're eat, either eating or you're resting and waiting for the next session. So the night time, what would you do? You just... Well, in a minute, we'll go to the gym at, what, 8 o'clock, Peter? No, we'll be there for half seven, wrap up, start sparring around eight, and come out about ten o'clock after Ten o'clock. I get back here. Bed. Same thing the next day? Same thing, five days a week, six... Five days a week and Saturday mornings. And then I'll go home Saturday morning and then relax, get back in bed and go to bed because we'll leave here at five in the morning on Saturday to get up to the lakes to this run that I call Death Valley which is very hard, mountains and that and then we've, we're done by seven and then I'll be, I'll be home for eight o'clock, half seven so then I'll sleep in till about ten and then I can uh, just relax for the rest of the day. But I, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that now because I believe I've got Sky uh, filming on Saturday. So, I'm going to take up more of my rest time. Media commitments. What are you going to do? Obligated contractual, or else I wouldn't be doing it. You sat with Eddie Hearn the other day, didn't you, in Leeds? Going alright? He's alright. Hey, um... I was going to, uh, I went down to watch Isaac Glowbox for the English title. And um, I, I ordered three ringside tickets off of Isaac. I was going to like pay for them because I didn't want nothing for nothing off nobody. Sorry, Carol, ordered three free tickets. I ordered three free ringsides off of Isaac. <coughs> and um, so he must have said that because he only had like 50 quid tickets, whatever they was. And um, he said, after order them from Eddie And when he spoke to Eddie and I looked on my Twitter and I had a message from Eddie Earn saying, um, don't want you to pay for them tickets. I've, I'll sort them out. So that was that. We went there, and I, he ended up giving, I ended up getting bringing another two people. So we had five, five ringsides, and we sat all, all ringside really. So it was nice of Eddie to have us down there, you know. What were you talking to him about? Just out of curiosity. I was talking to him about the Cornish and the Joshua fight for a very few seconds, and about Isaac's fight and Isaac. About it really. And he was on his case the other day about Jose Burton as well. Oh yeah, I just sent him a tweet saying, like he gets everybody else titles from the same gym, and he's unfe un unbeaten in thirteen or fourteen fights. So why no title shot for him? And he said in eight days. So I believe he must be having a title shot on the Olympia bill, Stephen Smith's undercard. So we'll see, see if he's a man to his word. That's this week. Yeah. That's this Saturday. It's this Saturday, yeah. yeah. So I've not heard anything. I've not spoke to him for a while, Ophi. So. I don't know uh, what's going on. It's his birthday today, 27 today, so about time he gets a title shot, isn't it? Jose the Hammer. <clears throat> I didn't speak to you about this earlier on, but obviously your your fight is on Skybox Office, which the last time your proposed fight was meant to be on Skybox Office was the infamous known fight against David Hay. But yeah. you happy to be back on Skybox Office? Happy to be by, back on Skybox Office. Sky, Skybox Office is the biggest platform in the UK for a pay-per-view. So it's it's uh, it's the best station. And everybody knows about it. <clears throat> so it's, uh, it's a good good move. Joint with Kell Brook from England and then you in Germany. So Yeah, I don't really think that the Kell Brook fight is needed. Because, you know, me and Klitschko would sell anyway. So they're just getting a bonus thing on the card for free. Um, so they're just getting taking money off of me, really, to pay Kelbrook, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. Plenty to go around anyway, so... Why not? Why not? Why not? More the merrier. Stick them all on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, listen, thank you very much for this uh, tour, and thank you for the day, actually. You've been very assistful. No we say? bother. No bother. Yeah, and... Uh, Good luck with your sparring tonight. Are, are the sparring partners you're getting in tonight, are they worse or better than me? About the same. Same level? Yeah. Okay. I don't know how many sparring partners we've got to. How many have got, Peter? Three, four? Uh, no, there's more than that. Oh, there's more's landed? Yeah, I, think, but I don't know yet, because uh, altogether I've, I've got about eight coming. How many is here today, though? Like, I know there's Frankie and uh, Nick and... Romanian guy, Benny. That's three. Has any more come over the weekend? I'm not sure. I'll have to look on the list. 
There's somebody. Uh, somebody's here on the 17th. What date are we on now? 14th. Yeah, somebody else is here. So we've got three sparring partners tonight. So I'm going to try and grind out another 12 rounds. One in, one out. So that's four rounds each. You've already done one round earlier on, haven't you? Yeah, so I've only got 11 more to do. <laughs> All right, Tyson, listen, thanks for talking to IFL TV. Uh, best of luck with the rest of your camp, and we'll probably see you next week uh, at a press conference, which is supposed to be happening. What press conference is that? For you and Vladimir. Is that next week? I thought it was the 21st. That is next week. Oh, right, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 20, 20. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. actually on the 24th. 24th. 24th, then. Yeah, so, sure we'll see you there.